Good morning and welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the only show that denies having an affair with David Duchovny's tennis instructor. I'm Leah D'Amelio. And I'm Lon Harris. Our top story this week, bluegrass musician Eddie Adcock managed to play his banjo in the midst of brain surgery. Adcock's amazing story will provide the basis for the upcoming Jim Henson holiday special, Emmett Otter's Jug Band and Invasive Brain Surgery Christmas. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II visited Google's London headquarters and even uploaded a video to YouTube. When asked for her impressions of the YouTube service, Her Royal Highness replied, we should have quite preferred that the two girls had been using two cups. Hard-working regular folks across America have a new champion with the debut of the Little O'Reilly Factor. You can rant all you want, you're not going to shut me up. Shut the up, problem was shut that up, she passed up, in 1994. Lil O'Reilly, of course, will be joining the rest of Fox News' all-angry conservative child lineup, coming right in between Afternoons with Veruca Salt and Evening Edition with Francis from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Actress Selma Blair shocked paparazzi this week by revealing her secret magical powers. What is she doing? What is she doing? She's a magician. Blair learned magic on the set of her new show, Kath and Kim, which will magically disappear any day now from televisions everywhere. YouTube remains the only place to get a look at the director's cut of Britney Spears' latest music video, Womanizer. <laughs> The director's cut includes a few more scenes in the sauna, as well as a shocking sequence in which Britney shotguns an entire two-liter bottle of Mountain Dew. Britney's comeback follows a few rocky years in which the singer's appearance and weight fluctuated drastically. Here's some footage of the singer just one year ago from her video, Gimme More. The first clip from Hustler's pornographic take on Alaskan Governor Sarah Palin, whose nail in Palin, has hit the web. I have not been faithful to my hubby. Did I engage in a frenzied three-way with Soviet soldiers? The video promises to be far more popular than the other vice presidential tie-in, who's binding and gagging Biden. Speaking of Palin, the vice presidential contender got quite a surprise while doing a follow-up interview with Katie Couric this week. Alaska is like a microcosm of America. Doggone it. How's that for drill, baby, drill? You just described the terms general pain and the first issue's free, baby! Woo! Say, did any of you read that Hitchens piece in this month's Terry's Journal of Pain? You know, I, I rarely agree with the guy, but it's always a compelling read. Here's some footage of a cyclist leading police on an intense freeway chase. I've never seen anything like this. One, he's on a bike, and two, he's flying. Officers are asking all Americans to stay on the lookout for this man. He is considered armed and dangerous. Hey, did we manage to work in two Pee Wee's Big Adventure jokes this week? You know, I think we did. <laughs> oh, awesome. I am crossing that off the list. That is great. YouTube stars collide in the direct-to-web comedy series, Hooking Up. Kid needs to get out of his final to go to some ultimate frisbee tournament. Oh, look at that. He, he just put your name at the top so you think he's all business. I think we gotta mess with him. Really, the only difference between Hooking Up and conventional TV sitcoms is that you can talk about how much it sucks right there in the comments instead of waiting to see your friends at work the next day. In the horrifying short film, Killing Button, a couple is presented with a choice. Should they press a button that will kill a total stranger for a million dollars? Man, this is heavy. I mean, I know we could use the money, but who are we to play God with someone's life? Hell yeah, I'd do it. Well, you know, Jason did give me this killing button when I started working here, but I've just been using it as a paperweight. Yeah, let's try it out. Yeah, I don't think anything happened. Yeah, where's our money? Maybe you didn't push it hard enough. Still nothing. Nope, what a rip. You know what, that Jason Calacanis is a real- Hang on a second. That's it for this week in YouTube. For Lee D'Amelio, I'm Lon Harris, murdering our co-workers so you don't have to. We'll see you next time.